ladies and gentlemen, this is a mid-heavyweight contest consisting of six five-minute rounds. One fall, one submission, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my left and in the blue corner from the West Indies, Caswell Martin. His opponent on my right and in the red corner, the British mid-heavyweight champion, Mike Marino. There he is, the one and only Mike Marino. And Wooden Caswell Martin, his opponent in this final main bout, really two main bouts in this afternoon's program, because this can be nothing but a main bout, as well as the McManus. Caswell Martin, who would like nothing more than to have a try at Mike Marino's mid-heavyweight title. Let's see if he does well today and gets that chance. The first round? Six five-minute rounds, just one fall to decide this. The boy from Antigua, West Indies, Caswell Martin at 14 stone four. Mike Marino, the British mid-heavyweight title holder at 14-13. One fall decides. <coughs> Marino already starting his balance moves. Look at that grapevine. Near arm lever with a grapevine. Near arm into a semi jab strangle, the full jab strangle hold on, and now he only now this is grapevine, but a beautiful get out by Kaz Martin. Bridge that by Martin. Marino not quite sure whether to break that head scissors then. Beautifully operated there by Marino. Right, Marino, get out of that double handed wrist lever. <laughs> So easy when it fights. It looks so easy when it fights. Oh, yes, he has been caught there. Again, back to the double handed wrist lever from the backhammer position. minutes left in this first round. Six. <laughs> the position of his left arm there holding that toe and ankle on behind the Caswell Martin left knee. Oh, <laughs> Lovely turn. Still with the advantage, Marino. Marino. 
Yeah. Being up to a half Nelson. Face bars to the Nelson. Just for the minute now. That time. Double into lock on with just about 12 seconds left in this first round. Nice forward whip, but he holds on to that single finger into lock on the bell of round one. As well, Martin may be a wee bit lucky that Bill went when it did. But what a great future this fellow's got. He's going to get some title pretty soon, that's for sure. Maybe it'll be Mike Marino's his opponents this afternoon. Maybe it'll be even the heavier class right up in the heavyweights. But uh, this fellow has got a future. Like he had a tremendous career as an amateur. Three titles, London, Southern and British. He was standby for Olympics in Mexico in 1968. Amateur for four and a half years. Not a bad record for that time. Seconds away, round two. Round two, and of course no score in this mid-heavyweight contest. Casual Martin versus Mike Marino, because one fall. Will decide the winner, a flying tackle by Martin, and it works, it works over the top of the cross press, and Marino almost in trouble then, gets a two, a count of two, Casual Martin there. Ah, it's the very near thing for Marino, that. Nicely taken over the top, but Marino's legs right through, safe for a break there. He didn't even have to bother to get out of that one, though I'm quite sure he could have if he wanted to. Fifteen seconds, Marino's starting one of his famous moves to the waist from the back. Half Nelson, Grapevine is on, Oop, opposite arm lever, trouble here, but the bell will save Kaz Martin from any trouble after another couple of seconds. That's it. So, there he is, the master of the mid-heavyweights. Really the, a, a real king of the canvas, this fellow. Tremendous experience, tremen held title for a long time, and although he's defended it on many occasions, not really has anybody been too near getting it. A real stylist. Seconds away, round three. So finally, round three, and four rounds to go. <laughs> Surprise look. Uh, Marino's face and looking up with a grin as if to say, that wasn't a bad throw, son. <laughs> and if you want to try the, a long throw across the ring from corner to corner, let, up, let me try it too. Okay, even on that one? Right. Let's stop that one. This is the sort of sporting bout you need. A great finishing bout for the afternoon's program on this one. Front head chance right now for Kaz Martin. To the side one. I'll take a bet Max Ward, the ref, doesn't have a single warning to give, private or public, in this bout. Let go, but uh, see the position again. 
It's the second time Marino's received a count of one. I think I'm right in saying Martin hasn't been in that position for a count of one yet. Yes, I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, taken beautifully. And again, Marino in trouble. And a two count against Marino. And the first to congratulate him on that near thing was Marino himself. I'm sure, I'm quite sure the promoters will give Kaz Martin a chance at Marino's title if he wins this game. Near the surface. Holy press. Again, another count of one, but the leg's too powerful to let him hold it on. It's side, side to side bodies. This is all murder when a man with the power of Marino gets it on. And it's a possible full Boston. He gets a single leg Boston. He can't get the full one, but he now has another chance to. But it spun out long before he even thought about it. Marino saw that coming before he was really in any danger. Again, the double finger in a lock. Bridge Marino. Up from the bridge, 90 seconds left. <laughs> Trying to force him down to that bridge position, but can't get in there. <laughs> Sweat just pouring up both his men. One minute left in the third. Oh, too far over, much too far over. Marino can get out of that when he likes. I don't know about that one though. Yes, easy to. Now try the forward, normal double knee hold. Still he can't hold it. Twenty-five seconds to go, round three. And the grapevine went from the front way this time by Marino. Side headlock and grapevine to the front. Again, Mike Marino left this move a little bit late for this round. Well, Kez Martin, uh, who's had this ambition for his opponent's title for quite a time now, must be thinking twice about the possibilities of ever getting it. He really has been uh, so near on a couple of occasions and still thinking he's got his great chance at a pinfall, still Marino somehow gets out of trouble. This boy turned pro in January 1971, and the first bouts he met one of the people first people he came up against was Mike Marino who won so easily that time seconds away round four round four three rounds to go one fall to side Marino versus Caswell Martin Caswell Martin of Antigua West Indies and certainly staying with Marino in fact he's got had more Possible thing for us. Another flying tackle. He's still got Marino over the gap the top. And, and still he's thrown off. That's the third time he's tried that. And each time a count of one. I cannot remember Mike Marino being at the wrong end of so many pinfall counts. And it well. 
Oh, over the top and Marina holding over all he's worth now but the shoulders aren't down yet just they are and he's got it beautifully done and a disappointment there he is the happy winner but a disappointment for a tremendous effort by Caswell Martin he'll have his chances in the future we'll see more of this fella he's great ladies and gentlemen after such a classical contest I'm sure that really doesn't matter who the winner was Everyone here knows it was Mike Marino.